college eats. <laughs> What's going on, guys? And welcome back to another episode of College Eats. And today I'm back here in Guelph University with my boys. And we made some greasy ass food last time, and we thought, you know, we may as well switch it up today. We're going to be making two kinds of hummus today caramelized onion hummus and some roasted red pepper. Fucking throw away that $5 shit that you get at the superstore. We're going to make some real deal stuff. This shit only cost me four dollars. I'm gonna show you how to make it today, so stay cool, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Two hummuses today. You know, you get the five dollar ones at the supermarket that are about that thick. This, if you can't see, four eighty two at the superstore. You know, check that out. Make your homemade hummus. Best way to go. All right, guys. So first thing we're putting in our hummus today is garlic. So with the garlic, what you want to do is we're gonna cut the top off. I've already done it. You don't want the stem, and we're gonna put it on the tin foil. Next, oh, that works. Take some olive oil. We're just gonna drizzle it all over the top. All right, you don't need to saturate it, it's good enough. Then we're gonna roll it up. What we're gonna do with this, we're gonna put it in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes on 400 degrees. Yeah. All right guys, so for the caramelized onion, uh, I'm, just, I'm not gonna show you how to caramelize onions. I've already done a video. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll leave a link for you guys to check it out. So just check that out and you'll know how to caramelize onions. Um, what do you want to do with the red pepper? Put a red pepper in it. We're going to take the olive oil, right? Put your thumb in. And you're just going to drizzle the red pepper with the olive oil. Oh, mm -hmm, drizzle the shit out of it. All right, roll it around a little bit. And this time we're going to put it in the oven on broil on high. What do you want to happen with this red pepper? You want it to be black on the outside. And then once it's black on the outside, we're going to rotate it and flip it so it's black on the other side. Open my chickpeas, high in fiber. <laughs> We're gonna strain it with a strainer. How about a strainer? How about like so? Get them in there. Get them in there. Oh. So a little bit of water, <laughs> cold water, preferably. Lukewarm. Lukewarm. Not sure why it's bubbling, it's fine, okay? Don't worry, the bubbling is natural. <laughs> the iron. the calcium that I do with the water. Give them a quick little rinse. Like so. Would you look at Dude, that? That's a velvet right there. That's what I have. Alright, guys, so after uh, about 15 20 minutes, now I'm at 400 degrees, you know, put the garlic cover and the pour onto oil. You can just take it and it should just squeeze right out of there like that. And it almost looks like toothpaste when it squeezes out. Mm. So now that we got our uh, we got our onions roasted, we got them caramelized up, we got our roasted garlic, and we got our uh, our washed chickpeas. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna take half the roasted garlic. And we're gonna toss it right in there. And we're gonna take about half our chickpeas to start. And I'll dump them right in there. Try and spread them around a little bit. And then if you don't have a food processor, processor, feel free to use you know like a blender wherever you got in the house. So it's gonna go blitz them up a little bit and then it's gonna come to a halt. So then we take our olive oil in here. Olive oil. You can use olive oil or vegetable oil, it's up to you, canola, whatever you really want to. And then we're gonna add and we're gonna slowly incorporate it in there. Now this whole part is up to you guys if you want it a little bit chunkier, you want it super smooth. But that's how you make a basic hummus, you know, feel free to add salt and pepper in there. And that's how you make your basic hummus, you can add whatever flavors you like in there after. This is just the caramelized onion, we're going to show you the roasted red pepper in one second. Alright! <laughs> so the pepper is pretty much done here, you know. We got some nice char in there, you want it to be black, don't worry about burning it. That is the whole point of roasted red peppers. Put it in a container, you want to cover it so the moisture stays inside of there. What the moisture is going to do, it's going to make sure the skin falls off so when it comes to peeling it, you can just tear it right off. Instead of having a hassle, cover it with something. I'm going to use this oversized pan because that's all oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to take, the, we want to take the black part off here. So you see how it just peels off nicely and we're going to do that. Bear with me, I'm extremely amateur. Guys, 
right, so same thing as the first batch. We're going to take the olive oil and we're just going to drizzle it in here after it's... Um Oh, yeah, College eats. <laughs> they OD'd on hummus. <laughs> College eats. <laughs>